those who follow me on facebook and instagram have seen like the past week i've been really updating about my dad um and i i believe if most of you who watch if you don't watch you know he uh when went on he passed on in 2012 so and uh, as i talked about in my learning to grief videos what i decided to do once i accepted everything was to celebrate his life as often as i could So today I want to talk about this man who was the first male love um, I knew. Um, uh, quickly, I'll just tell you, he passed on on 31st March. His birthday is on 4th April and his date of when we laid him to rest on 11th April. Hence why if you follow me on Facebook and Instagram, you've seen me posting about him, but it's just in remembrance and in keeping his spirit alive and in celebrating his life okay so my dad was my hero especially when i was younger as a girl of course as i've said my first male figure of love what i admired about him was his sense of style he had a great sense of style um especially for his era i think i carried that on i'd love to think i did um his determination to succeed he was a very um hard-working man he would wake up early he would uh, you know he was always on the grind and on top of this what else i admire about him was his intelligence my dad was a very intelligent man and uh, if you can see from the photos i've shared he kept in yeah you know good company i would be sharing i'm sharing these photos so also he i believe he wanted uh, the best for his family um maybe at times you know we are all we are not perfect we are human beings but at the end of the day i believe that's what he wanted for his family the best and um he tried so hard to actually fulfill that he was very protective he was a visionary the things he would um, he would talk about doing and the things he actually did uh, they just uh, i just really um admired that about him he also lived life like on weekends we would after church we would go somewhere maybe to the beach maybe to have some um roast meat we would always um just do something over the weekend that was not uh, our daily schedule and wherever we could we could travel maybe that's where i got my wanderlust bag which i i keep on praying to start fulfilling soon and i know i will i know i will so those are some of the things i actually really admired about him there's some things i also regret and uh, i'm just sharing them because um i know most of us when um, a loved one passes on we have so many thoughts and so many questions and we keep on saying i could have done this i could have done that but it's too late and most of the time these questions we keep on asking ourselves are the ones which lead us uh, which stop us from actually transiting to the next stage and moving on and no that is a bad one not moving on and accepting and uh, learning to to live with uh, that um, to live with the, the loss so uh, some of my I can say my biggest regret was not making it in time to say goodbye to him my mom had called me she had told me he was not doing well and that time i was attached to a low farm so i and i was also going through my own things so i tried as much as possible the night i had decided i'm going to now travel to come and see him uh, he is the day he actually passed on before the night even reached so uh, next, I was traveling. I was traveling to come and uh, 
make funeral arrangements so not making it in time to say goodbye to him was one of my is one of my biggest biggest um regrets um, i want to strongly um put this Forward, put this out there anyone you love I know Kenyans and Africans in general we don't have that culture for telling people I love you um, we I don't know I just think we just find it. I don't know why we don't actually there's no um, uh, logical reason but there's just that I think most of the things we tend to shy away from and saying I love you to our loved ones is one of them one thing my dad taught me was how to say, he was never shy about saying it he would write me letters when i was in boarding school and tell me and tell me he loved me and uh, that's one thing i think we should do more of tell our loved ones how much we love and care about them when they're alive because when they're gone it's you can still say it but you will not get that response that from the other person so let us develop that culture and it starts from a young age i do it with my cousins i do it with babies i love every time i talk to them whether on phone whether i'm leaving them i tell them i love them and it's something they get to grow up with it becomes a norm and it's just a way of sharing our sentiments with our loved ones when they're still with us so even as early as last year i don't think i would be able to have sat down and done this and have actually a smile on my face and i'm smiling because i want to develop the culture of celebrating who my father was the good the not so good accepting it and also hopefully teach my my nieces and nephews my kids if i'm blessed to have them teach them who he was and instill in them the greatest values i saw in him and that way i believe i have a continuity of life to mom carol sheila collins um we rode the house together today uh seven years ago and um, thank you. Thank you for the support. Thank you uh, for the love we continue to share as a family. And I pray it never ever ends. Thank you to all my extended family, all my extended family who could make it, made it. Thank you so much. Anyone who is going through loss, I know it is not easy, but you will be okay you will heal give yourself time to mourn to accept and uh, um when you're strong enough learn or cultivate a culture of celebrating we celebrate my dad all the time even on social media uh, you'll find me and my mom and my aunties just remembering his um, humorous character or my humorous character when he was around and just celebrating it and those things just uh they just give me life it's almost like his spirit is uh, still around us and still within me um that said thank you guys so much for watching you don't know how much i appreciate you taking your time to watch my videos i hope i'm instilling something in you that is uh, changing you as i've said anything you might like me to talk about or to touch on please share i'm trying to do those videos um as soon as possible and sharing them out to you so thank you so much thank you for subscribing thank you for tuning in every time i post a video god bless you stay blessed Toodles. i will run i will climb i will soar i'm undefeated